But Deer took an abandoned place and turned it into a place where people can work and thrive. Here in Rockdale, Texas, Bit Deer repurposed this former aluminum smelting facility into one of the largest Bitcoin mining operations in the country. Bhutan, they're very supportive of Bitcoin mining. We are now creating circular economies. This gave me much more out of my life. We feel that it's just the beginning of the story for Bitcoin. From the winding rivers of Norway to the remote valleys of Bhutan and across the heartlands of the United States, Bitdeer is quietly revolutionizing the digital frontier. Spanning three continents, these data centers aren't just mining Bitcoin. They are laying the foundation for the future of digital capital and data technology. But at its heart, this is a story about people, the power of innovation, and communities being transformed. We begin in central Texas, where a profound reawakening is unfolding. Rockdale, a town once left reeling by the 2008 closure of a massive industrial plant owned by Alcoa, is finding its second wind. When Alcoa shut down, uh, a lot of people moved out. Uh, a lot of people were forced to retire. The plant had employed nearly half the town's population, and its closure was devastating to this blue-collar, tight-knit community. Families were uprooted, and Rockdale was left searching for a way to rebuild. But now Bitdeer is breathing new life into the area, providing jobs, training, and a lifeline for workers like Rachel. People need a job to survive and take care of their families. I'm proud to be a part of that in this community. Bit Deer took an abandoned place and turned it into a place where people can work and thrive. Here in Rockdale, Texas, Bit Deer repurposed this former aluminum smelting facility into one of the largest Bitcoin mining operations in the country. Once a symbol of America's industrial might, this site is now helping power the digital economy. Having the world's largest Bitcoin mining facility in our backyard is a very cool economic development tool. It definitely puts Rockdale on the map. Jim Gibson serves as economic development director here in Rockdale. Having seen the challenges brought by the closure of the Alcoa plant, Gibson has been at the forefront of efforts to revive the community and bring in new opportunities like those created by Bitdeer. They've added millions of dollars onto the property tax roll. That's really helped our local school system. They've created hundreds of jobs out there. One of the cool things about Bitdeer is the types of jobs that they have created in this community. These are the kind of jobs where someone can graduate from high school. They don't necessarily have to go out, get a four-year degree. You can go work out there and still make a pretty decent wage for Rockdale. But the impact goes beyond employment. In a state known for its energy innovation, the company is making waves in how energy is sourced and utilized. Bitdeer does have a preference for renewable sources. Bitcoin mining in general uh, does enable more renewable sources because it can live side by side with intermittent sources of energy like solar and wind. And it's doing that a lot here in Texas. Yes, yes it is. Bitcoin mining often faces criticism for its energy use, but the reality is more nuanced and surprisingly positive. Miners can help stabilize energy grids and they create demand for low cost power, which in turn incentivizes investment in renewable energy infrastructure. Miners are drawn to regions with abundant underutilized resources like solar and wind here in Texas and hydropower in Wenatchee, Washington and Bhutan. This small, lesser-known nation nestled in the Himalayas between India and China is a place where tradition and progress intertwine. Chief Strategy Officer Harris Bassett says this location was chosen for its political and economic stability. Bhutan, it's got low-cost energy, it's renewable, uh, we have very friendly relationships with the government, they're very supportive of Bitcoin mining. Bitdeer's 600 megawatt facility here is also powered entirely by hydroelectricity. With 30,000 mining machines running, the Gedu Data Center represents a leap forward for a nation deeply connected to its environment, a nation that has quietly amassed more than 12,000 Bitcoin. The government there is very forward-looking and progressive. The King of Bhutan has big plans for the country. We expect that we will grow there substantially over the next several years. There are also big plans underway here in Norway. 
This data center operation isn't just a sustainability powerhouse. It's also pioneering initiatives that prioritize and enable circular economies by reusing the heat generated by all the computer processing. It's also 100% powered by renewable sources like hydro. When you are lucky to have access to this energy, you should use it more than once. When you operated your data center, heat is generated. And as we know from physics, heat doesn't disappear. So this heat can be transported to local industries and, and being used for food production. Hakan Brini is in charge of the data center here in Tidal, Norway. He shared that due to Norway's cold climate, it has to import billions of dollars worth of food each year. Those costs could, in theory, drastically come down if facilities like this enable the country to grow its own produce in greenhouses using recycled heat from the data center operations. Today, Norway is importing 70% of its green produce. We are now creating circular economies because we are offering the energy that we use here for reuse, uh, mostly fish farming and uh, greenhouses. I think this is almost will be mandatory in the future that when you are consuming uh, a lot of energy, you are also providing it for something useful afterwards. The waste heat will also be responsible for warming local sports complexes, a nursing facility, education centers, and other community buildings. The operations have helped spur a boom in employment and growth, attracting new families to the area. What was once an area struggling to retain its population is now humming with hope. We are increasing population with more than 10% just by, by establishing our data center. April Rose is a mom who came with her husband from the Philippines to work as an engineer for Bitdeer. Sad to say, these opportunities, it's difficult for me to find it in our country. I'm thankful for this job because it allows me to go beyond my limits. And for Gunnar Nas, working for Bitdeer is a powerful story of redemption. After uh, some accident, I uh, sit in wheelchair. You can give up or you can try to uh, see forward. Gunnar became paralyzed after a car accident and thought he would never be able to find meaningful work again until a relative, Lars, who also works here for Bitdeer, encouraged him to try learning a new skill, becoming a data center engineer. To me, he said this has been life-changing for him. Gunnar has found new purpose and now excels at complicated repairs of highly specialized mining computers called ASICs. It means a lot for me. This gives me much more out of my life. It's a fantastic place to work. Twitter is going to be a very important company in Norway. As it expands its footprint around the globe, Bitdeer's operations are more than just a network of cutting-edge facilities. They represent a shift in how we think about energy, technology, digital capital, and the future of communities. And there are big plans for Bitdeer's road ahead, expanding its roles in AI and high-performance computing areas, continuing to partner with companies like NVIDIA, and advancing the value of Bitcoin worldwide. Our way of separating ourselves is really through innovation and technology and being on the other side of the hardware business and innovating the chips and the mining rigs themselves. We feel that it's just the beginning of the story for Bitcoin. It has a long way to go. At the core of Bitdeer's mission is the idea that technology can be a force for good, powering the next generation of the digital economy while uplifting the people and places that make it possible.